one vision by Queen uh, playing uh, with my bridge and middle pickup. I've got a Vox AC30 sound set up through Guitar Rig 3 and a little chorus um, and some distortion. So the way Brian enters is with a hammer on and pull off and he's playing along with the uh, keyboards in the beginning and it's kind of fun to do so you're, you strike a D once and then you hammer on to E and pull off to D to D flat and hammer back on to the D all with one strike. So I'll hit the string once. You can keep doing that. And then when he comes in, he goes like this. So what he's playing there, this is a D, and this actually, when you go to the D flat on the fifth string, is an A. We got a root note here, A, and this would be the third of the chord. So anyhow, we're going D to A, back to D twice. Then we come down here, and we're actually playing a G. Again, we got the root note here, G, and this would be the three of G. Um, two strikes there okay what else he's doing under there the reason I say it's an A is because you can play an A rather than a full A6 root here you only play the middle um, three strings, the B, the G, and the D string. And um, actually you start out with the D, so you do it. Then you go to the G, to C. So that follows this. Okay, so that's underneath there is another guitar. To the chorus, and I'll play the chorus at speed and then I'll slow it down for you. And you're back into the verse. This is we strike an A. And then we add a suspended, or it's actually a D, if you think of the root note here on the fifth string, but we're not playing that. We're leaving the A open. And I got my second finger on the B string and my uh, third finger on the D string. And you can let that A string ring out. And we come up to C. And then after four counts, he comes in with this little riff, and it's basically on the G string to start out with. You go from five to three to two to open, then you come up to the D string and hit three. So what we have so far is... And then you come up to one on the D string, and then you go three on the... A string to three on the sixth string. So, and you stop back at, you do that twice and you come back and end on the um, D string one. So it sounds like this all together. And then you come in with a walk up from A open to one, two, three, four, and hit the chord. So it'll sound like this all together. And you're back into the verse. Second verse at speed, and I'll show you what he does different during the first half. So, 
that first half, what he's doing after the normal beginning. <laughs> stop and pause a second, and then we're going to come in with a suspended. So it's real similar to what we did in the chorus, except we've moved it up to the basically at the fifth position. We're adding the suspended on the six of the B string and the seven of the D string. And we're going to hit that twice and pull off and hit the C. And then we're back into the regular verse. So it sounds like this. Second chorus, I'll play that at speed and show you what he's doing. It starts out just like the first chorus with the A to the D. Okay, so what he's doing there after our A to D twice, we go to C and whammy bar kind of to follow it for four measures. To the you leave your first finger on that C and come down to what's basically an F. So um, we've got our first finger on the third fret of the A string and the third fret of the um, D string, and then we put our second finger down on the G string at the fifth fret, and then your pinky down on the sixth fret of the B string. Back to C, and then there's some notes there. He's doing B to C twice, and then B to C once, and back to that walk up, which is open A to, to one, to two, to three. Into four. 